came up to me and said, David, because I was a hoofer, I was a tap dancer. I didn't study ballet, I didn't study any of that other stuff, jazz. So he came up to me and said, David, uh, I don't know how to dance tap dancing, so you'll have to choreograph your own number. I said, Mr. Balanchine, I'm 13 years old. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first Broadway show, and you want me to choreograph my, okay, okay, I, I, I did it. You know, so uh, that was my first choreography job, really. But there was George Balanchine in front of me telling me you know, that I had to, I had no choice. Very interesting because uh, the statistic I had, he was 14, and now he says he's 13. Wow. 13 years old and already lying about his age. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a distinction because on the cast album of On Your Toes, you were the first person to what? I was the first person to ever record dancing, tap dancing, on an album. The first one, wow. the Broadway, Broadway show album, which I didn't know, but some gentleman who follows that told me about it years later. Now, uh, this was the time when there was so much television being um, shown in New York, a lot of live TV shows. Those of us who were of a certain age <laughs> remember when the Emmys used to, uh, when they announced the winner, they would say, and the winner in New York is, or the winner in Hollywood is. So uh, you did a lot of TV during this period of time. Yes, as an actor, I did over 150 television shows between so, the age of 13 and 17 when I got West Side Story. Okay, so tell me some of the favorites. Uh, my favorites were, of course, Jackie Gleason, mm -hmm. uh, Red Buttons, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Mr. Peepers. Uh, what Mr. Was Peepers. Name? What was his name? Now? Wally Cox. Wally Cox, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and a Red Button show. Mm -hmm. I did the Red Button show. Uh -huh. And um, were they all nice to you? They were wonderful. Okay. It was a wonderful time to be doing what I was doing, I must say. Now, a musical came out in 57 called New Girl in Town. And it was a musical version of Anna Christie. And uh, Anna Christie's a serious story, and it deals with a, a prostitute, and it deals with sailors who are interested in her, and other um, burly uh, men in their 20s and 30s, maybe even 40s and 50s. But you auditioned for it, even though you were a young kid. I mean, well, there was nothing for you in it. Why did you audition? Uh, Mr. Bob Fosse had been announced. It was his new show. Uh -huh that he was going to do with Gwen Verdon. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I really want him to know who I am. Uh -huh. you know, not for this show necessarily, but for future jobs that he has coming. So I went and auditioned, and at the end of the audition, he pulled me out, and he said, very good young man. He said, what are you doing here? <laughs> I said, well, Mr. Fossey, you don't know me, I don't know you, and I want you to know me. <laughs> so the next time maybe you'll think about me if the job comes up you know, for someone like me, short, you know, young, and uh, I was young in those days. <laughs> and uh, he said, well, thank you. Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it. And so that was my Bob Fosse moment. Good. And so did you ever wind up in a Bob Fosse show? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. But you did wind up in Shinbone Alley. Uh, you're pardoned if you don't know what Shinbone Alley is. By the way, it's the first musical Stephen Schwartz ever saw that made him say, wow, I've got to be a part of this. Um, Shinbone Alley was about what? It's about a cockroach and a cat. A cockroach and a cat. And it, was, it was in a hundred newspapers in America, a uh, love story between a cockroach and a cat called Archie and the uh -huh. And it starred Eartha Kitt mm -hmm. and Eddie Bracken. Uh -huh. Eartha Kitt, obviously, but and the cat. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so I was hired for that as a, as a dancer. All right, so did you say to yourself, a musical with a cat? That could never go. <laughs> I thought it was kind of strange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>